the territory these days, the familiar beat of the engines of the DC-3 mingles with the roar of a new technology, the roar of the jets which link Papua New Guinea with Asia and Australia. Port Moresby is the first point of entry for people arriving in the territory. It's a regular stop for international airliners en route between Asia and Australia. From Hong Kong or Tokyo, Melbourne or Sydney, businessmen and tourists fly to this land of yesterday. Moresby, the largest town in the territory, has a fast-growing population which is spreading into new residential suburbs. Discovered in 1873 by Captain John Moresby, Royal Navy, the natural harbour was the reason why it was selected originally for settlement. Today, it is the centre of administration, a developing town where, as well as up-to-date European-style shops, can be found the intriguing shops of Chinese merchants with many interesting things waiting to be discovered, from unique native artefacts to low-priced transistorized goods from Japan. residential area of Moresby are on a small promontory, the harbour on one side, the bay on the other. Life can be very pleasant, cool breezes ripple the waters off Gila Beach, only minutes from the centre of town. Surrounded by the sea, it is a place where one can relax on the shore, go yachting or water skiing. Port Moresby is also the key centre of the Territory's aviation network. From Jackson's Field, the protective umbrella of air traffic control spreads out and provides safe flying in one of the most primitive and isolated countries of the world. Australian staff have the opportunity to take part in this vital and important work. After two years, there's an extended leave period. As well as keeping a watchful eye on operations throughout the Territory, Australian flight service officers train and work alongside local staff. Papuans and New Guineans realise the importance of aircraft in the development of their country. In addition to the regular scheduled airline companies, there are a number of charter services operating, plus aircraft flown by the different missions. An average of 1,000 takeoffs and landings are made in the territory every day. A complex radio and telecommunications centre in Port Moresby keeps records and processes flight information, dispatching it to other flight services and air traffic control centres like Mount Hagen in the Western Highlands.